This is a little presentation on V-Ray 2, and I'm going to start off by showing you how to install V-Ray 2. I've got this uh, V-Ray installer that I've saved to the desktop here. You'll notice it's got the little shield on it, so generally you want to run as administrator. You'll get the uh, question to proceed. This is Windows 7 with the UAC turned on. This is sensing that 3DS Max is still installed and running, which it is, so I need to close Max. And to just check that, I'll hit back and next again. I can bring up Task Manager to check, and Max always takes a minute to finish closing. And it looks like it's gone now. So we'll hit back and next again, and this time we don't get the problem. I agree. I agree. Here are your various modes you can install in. Generally, if you're just installing locally, you do Workstation. If you just have a machine that will run as a render slave, you can set this up. Um, the standalone render slave uh, is for V-Ray standalone only. And then the license server was often installed where you have a uh, server that all of the machines connect to for licensing. Usually these defaults work well, especially if you've installed your C drive. We are going to use a local license server because I have the hardware key locally. If the hardware key is on another machine, you've got to go to the remote. That stuff you can change after you install. It's a good idea to always register the V-Ray license service that um, makes sure it works. And since this machine will have the hardware key on it, it does need the Weibo key driver. Okay, now we're ready to install. First, it's going to yank out the old V-Ray, which is fine. Now it's installing this version, which is, uh, I believe, Beta 3. And I'll disable the change logs and README. Next, we're going to get uh, the Weeboot key installer. And these just can be installed in pretty much all defaults. We are on a 64-bit OS, but it's a 32-bit app, so it is putting it there under the x86. Again, I'm just going with all defaults. If you have trouble with the Weibo key drivers and you um, have installed V-Ray successfully, but you do not have the hardware key drivers, you can go get those on the web at weibo.de. This is the website that's the home page for this licensed uh, technology. First of all, we want to switch it to English language. Then we go to download. Then we look for software. And then uh, user, because we're not a developer, we're a user. And then if you scroll down, it's not this thing called code meter. You've got to keep going. You're looking for Weibo key. And here is the Win64 uh, installer. And you can just click this for automatic update. That's generally the safest way to install it if you don't install it as part of V-Ray. Okay. And now that the driver has successfully installed along with V-Ray, we can install the hardware key. It's a small USB key. Down in the system tray, it says installing device driver software. Generally with USB stuff like this, it's best to install the drivers, then plug it in. Now we'll check it out. Um, to do that, we're going to bring up the control panel, which looks like this by default in Windows 7. So to see all of the little icons, we need to view by, we'll just say small icons. And now you'll see some other things in here. And um, let's see. So if we scroll down here, we'll find something called Weibo Key. And when you click on that, you'll get this little utility. If it's working right and you have your key installed, you'll see this little puzzle piece here with your serial number on it. That tells you that your key is installed. That's the first thing you want to check. Next thing you want to check to get it to get uh, V-Ray running is go to Administrative Tools and in here bring up Services. When you register the V-Ray license service, it put the V-Ray service in this list, but generally you have to reboot for it to start. It's set to automatic, but currently it's not started. So you right-click and start it. 
rather than restart your whole computer, that turns on the VRL service. So now uh, V-Ray should be licensed and running and everything should be good. We can bring up a little web browser and check it. At any time you can check your V-Ray license by going to HTTP localhost colon 30304. This is the port used by V-Ray. Then you click get status of the server and there are your licenses. 1.5 and 2.0. Here's RT and uh, the GPU version. You can see the number of licenses if any are checked out. If you need to upgrade your licenses, you click here, and then you can save a WBC file and send that off. And uh, that's an easy way to get your license fixed. So at this point, V-Ray should be working correctly. And the last step would be to check it by going into Max and changing uh, the um, renderer to V-Ray. I'll pause temporarily. With Max up now, we will go to the render dialog over here. Currently, it's set to the default scan line render, but if we scroll down to the bottom, there's the assign renderer rollout. Here we can change the renderer to V-Ray Advanced. The active shade would be switched to V-Ray RT. And if the after you've done this, if, if the licensing is working, when you switch to these tabs, you will um, see here all of the rollouts. When it says could not obtain a license, that means something is blocking the ability of um, V-Ray to get to the hard hardware key, and that's what's happening here right now. And um, if you want to change where your license is coming from, you can click this button here. Currently, my license server, I had installed this previously, and so it's looking for a V-Ray 2.0 license off of our central server and I have only have the key plugged in locally, so I have to change this back to localhost, and the port stays the same. Could not save settings. Okay, this is one of those situations that comes up in Windows 7 where you need to go in and deal with the um, UAC a little bit. So what's going on, what I want to change this is that it's blocking me unless I tell it to run as administrator. So if we go to the uh, start menu, V-Ray, licensing, administration, and here's where we can change the V-Ray license settings outside of Max, but I can't click it or it won't save my settings. I have to right click and choose run as administrator. Then I get asked if that's um, something that I'm okay with. Now I can change this to something else. Click OK, and now settings updated successfully. So that's good. Okay, now we're back in 3ds Max, and we're going to check our logic on that. So I bring up the render dialog, go down and switch this to V-Ray, switch to the second tab. This time it is getting a license, so that's good. We'll switch our active shade over to RT, and now if you want to see how the active shade uh, dialog looks, you can switch over. Here's where the engine can be either CPU based or GPU based. You'll need a video card with OpenSeal support, of course. And that's uh, the installation methods for V-Ray 2.0.